In a previous video, I showed that the solubility of calcium phosphate is 7.13 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter because we were given KSP. That's in pure water. What if we're asked about the solubility of calcium phosphate in a phosphoric acid, 0.1 moles per liter of it? Well, let me show you. Calcium phosphate dissolves in water that's calcium phosphate solid, to give you three calcium ions, each with a charge of plus two, and two phosphate ions, each with a charge of plus three. If I was going to do an ice table for this, and this is the important bit, my initial concentrations are, doesn't matter because it's a solid, zero and in most questions, we would start with no phosphate as well. But we were told we started with 0.1 moles per liter of H3PO4. That dissolves to give me a PO4 in solution already. So I'm starting with 0.1 moles per liter of phosphate. My change is that I'm going to gain 3 calciums for every calcium phosphate that dissolved. And I'm going to gain two phosphates for each one that dissolved. My equilibrium concentrations then are 3x and 0.1 plus 2x. Notice how that's different from if you had assumed this was zero to start with. If you're using pure water with no phosphate already inside, your chart would look like this, but yours doesn't yours looks like this because you already have an ion in the solution that plays a role in equilibrium. Because this ion is common to what's already in your solution and the thing you're dissolving, the effect that this has on the solubility, i.e. to lower it, is the common ion effect. Let's solve this K expression just to make sure that it affects our equilibrium. Can you still see that ice table? I guess you can. The KSP expression here, or the regular equilibrium expression, is products over reactants. Remember, your coefficients become exponents. PO4 squared. And we don't include calcium phosphate because it's a solid. The KSP we were given is 2 times 10 to the minus 29. The calcium equilibrium concentration is 3x. It is cubed. And the con equilibrium concentration of phosphate is 0.1 plus 2x squared. Now this is a little more complicated than simply using the rule of 100 or some other method for simplifying the equation. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, because k is really small, x will be really small as well. If x is really small, that means this plus 2x may not even play a role. I'm going to assume it's not even there. Let me simplify this expression for you a little more. 3 cubed is 27 times 0.1 squared, which is 0 0.01. When you multiply those together, you get 0.27 and you're left with an x cubed. If this had been the zero to start with, this would have been simply 2x. We could not have eliminated it from the expression this way, and we would have ended up with an x to the 5. But that's not the way this game is. Because we are starting with phosphate, we're allowed to make that assumption, and we end up with an x cubed instead. Let's solve this equation. 2.0 times 10 to the minus 29 equals 0.27x cubed. Divide both sides by 0 0.27. End up with, that's 2 times 10 to the minus 29. Divided by 0.27, I get 7.4 times 10 to the minus 29. And how do I undo cubed? It's called the cubed root. It's probably a button on your calculator. On your calculator, you may also prefer to just call it to the power of 1 third or 0.3333333. That's going to give you an answer that's close enough. 
Now, I'm a pretty smart guy, so I'm going to use the cubed root button on my calculator. I don't know if you can see it there. It's second function and then my square root button. I get 4.2 times 10 to the minus 10. And that is the solubility in moles per liter of calcium phosphate if you start with 0.1 moles per liter of phosphate in the solution originally. That's different than if we started with zero phosphate originally. Ooh, I got a text message. Looks like someone's got a date tonight. 7.13 times 10 to the minus 7 is what dissolves in pure water. Much less than that if we already had some phosphate in solution. More of the story for you, the common ion effect means if you already have one of these ions dissolved in solution, your solubility is lower than it would be in pure water. Best of luck to you. Go party. Best of luck.